Hello there, Aqua here again. Welcome to episode 34 of my Feed the Beast Little Beginner's Guide. Um, most of this episode is going to be focused on bees and bee type stuff. But um, before we get to that, I'm going to be covering a couple of other things that I've uh, done between this episode and last. And uh, once I've done that, I'll get on with carrying on with our genetic machines from last time. So I've expanded the A system a little bit. As you can see, I've added a uh, export bus onto this blue electric furnace that's running pretty slow because it's uh, struggling for power all the time but it's gradually processing all these things that are in the A network and turning them into the ingot version uh, as you can see we've got 1200 green and the white ones 1200 white zycoridite it's gradually turning all these things just uh, getting on with it nice and slow and steady turning all these things into um, the ingot version that's going to go through the aluminium ore as well what else is in there? cinnabar I think yeah cinnabar and any basalt cobblestone that gets thrown in there if you have a look at my system here um, I've got a third a third drive into it we've now got ingots gems and organic and gems is covering stuff i move this down here make it a bit easier um, gems has got all that kind of stuff in there so diamonds quartz my uh, farm craft stuff uh, ender pearls and blaze rods in there as well so i've thrown gem type stuff in there coal and charcoal and stuff in there as well like but not exactly gems gems and fuel i guess uh, i don't know that's in there and then there's that organic one still so you can see these are all well that one the gems one's 6,000 so it's about it's a bit over a third full um, ditto. still plenty of space in these and that's freed up quite a bit of space in this unformatted one here this has got all the stuff that's not got anywhere to go so uh, I've got some dark, uh, gold at last I need to add gold to there because I've not had any yet so the, the quarry's down to gold level which is good so that'll automatically process all the gold now so all my ores are getting auto-processed. These are the things that are not getting sorted out. As you can see, the quarry has gone through a um, dungeon there. It's actually, as you can tell from that, if you're looking actually, I've got tracks and I've got a fence. It means the quarry is going through a abandoned man, which I can show you that it actually is. Oh, I've got some lava down here. Should I put some water over that, I think, before it gets out of hand. Let's grab a bucket. And I've put a, a little bit of water down here already because I know there's lava lower down. Let's just sort this lava out by uh, putting water there. There we go. That'll gradually sort that out as it gets a bit lower. Oh, I've got some over here as well. Well, I don't like lava in my um, in my quarries. I like to try and keep it all sorted. That should do. Okay, so uh, we're down to here. We're down to level 26, getting quite low now. As you can see there, a little bit higher up. It went through a bit of a abandoned mine shaft. Where it's got that chest from. So I could have a look through. There's probably more chests and stuff in there. I think I just clipped the corner of this abandoned mine shaft by the look of it. Yeah, nice, uh, nice amount of stuff from this quarry. Right, what else have I done? And so let's jump back down here. Oops. I don't think I'll make stairs again. Just <laughs> just don't work very well with uh, modular power suit. Um. So if we jump down here. So yeah, I added that to it. That's just connected there into that line. Um. This is all the same. I moved the pipes around a little bit. But nothing major. And I've attach this tree farm to the A network as well currently it's got nothing in it at some point I'm going to start feeding oak to this um, so I've cut the wires there that just comes through this way look into there as well so it's all that's connected and I can start connecting all the MFR stuff at some point I can also connect the spawners at some point and I can get this stuff put into the network but I haven't done that yet so right onto the bee stuff the other thing that I've not mentioned yet and it's in one of the recipes for the bees uh, if I turn my thing back, oh, I also made an axe of the stream. Pretty straightforward. Let me just show you that real quick. I'm going to sleep as well. Axe of the stream. Um, funnily, my 
my Thorncraft research is the book's full again. I don't know what the hell's going on. Before I do the next server, I'm going to do a full wipe of all my clients and stuff. But I don't know if some there's some um, crossover between my full research on the other server. But that's showing full again. I'm in Axe of the Stream, pretty straightforward. Thalmy Max and uh, Wonder Frost. Thalmy Max is just like a normal axe, but using Thalmy Mingots. One of the Frost. And it's a really nice thing. I, I, I enchanted it as well. I got some XP from down in the hole there. And the really nice thing about these guys is. Let me, uh, let's cut down this tree here. The thing with a Thalmy Max is all you got to do is hit the bottom block. Looks like it's not cutting anything. What it's doing, it's cutting the tree down from the top downwards. So it, it brings all the wood to you, which is, which is nice. Like so. Very cool. Right. Okay, let's jump back over here. Uh, I'll shut my door so no, nothing comes in. What am I? Wait. Right, on, on with the bee stuff then. So if you don't like bees, you might want to stop watching now. But um, I think a lot of people don't like bees because they seem a bit complicated. Once you get your head around them, they really are useful. And Royal Jelly. One of the things that are stopping us doing... One of the things that is essential for doing extra bee stuff, Royal Jelly. Until you get Royal Jelly, you cannot do extra bee stuff because you need something called empty serum valves. These are gold ingots, glass pins, and Royal Jelly. So until you get Royal Jelly, you can't make these. And until you can make these, you can't um, get any serums because obviously the serum valves what serums go into. So we're going to make quite a few of these. I'm going to make... Uh, I'll make... 64. So I'm going to need some glass pins. Probably ain't got again. Not enough. I'm going to need quite a, quite a few glass pins, aren't I? Let's get a stack of glass. Turn it into pins. Like so. That's not going to be enough. Where'd that go? There it is. Okay, that'll do. So I'm going to make a full stack of these, because uh, these are going to come in very, very useful. And we need to make it now because some of the things that we... Uh, so each 32 will get you 64. Well, they're only stacking 32s though, which is a bit weird. So they're only stacking 32s. Right. Royal Jelly gets us these serum valves, and these are what we get our traits and species into. So we can't actually do anything until we can get these. So you need the Imperial Bees. That's why... You need them for the alvary, which is why, oops, which is what I was going for. These alvary blocks, but you also need them for the, to actually make a start on the extra bee stuff. And you're also, they're also in a couple of recipes I'm going to show you in a second. So if we go back to what we were doing last time, we'd made our gene pool. The next things to make are, now this is weird, these are in the forestry for Minecraft thing, but they're not, um, I can't seem to find them in, in their own thing, so I'm, I've got to go through these 11 pages of uh, stuff to find all the machines yet. So, alright, next thing they need, we need then is the best way of doing this actually is to get them guys out and to use the U button on that again, like we were doing last time. So, we've got five of these, we're going to make five machines isolator, replicator. Purify inoculator, synthesizer. So we'll do them in the order that we're going to use them. So the first thing is this is what we use to get the to get the traits out of the bees and isolate isolator. So emeralds, blaze rods, redstone. I think I've got everything I need in here for all these. So let's uh, get all this stuff in my inventory. I have to show you what that is at some point as well. Multimeter. Let's uh, if I forget, remind me. So what was this was, I believe, let's uh, get my crafting window up. Four of them. Three of them across the top. Oh, machine there. There's our first machine, the isolator. Now, the isolator, I'm going to power it up because we can actually show you in action. What an isolator does is an isolator needs empty serum valves in there. And what we can do with an isolator is if we get some bees. One of the first things we want to do is... Now, I've got cultivated bees in here. If we actually take a look at the traits, because I've bred these up doing manual breeding to lose some of the traits. Now, this bee here has got slower speed, even though it's a cultivated. 
because it got that bred into it when I was breeding it up from the from the bees that it bred from. Now, if we look into our data bank that I made, and we look at cultivated bee, we see that the cultivated bee is supposed to have fast speed. So we're going to want that fast trait. So what we can do is all these bees that we've made up here. I'm going to take a few of these. Don't need all of them. What we can do with these is you put a bee in there. What'll happen is the isolator will use some power. You see it's using 50 mg a tick, so it's, it's quite heavy. 50 mg a tick, and what that's, that's going to do is it's going to pull a trait from this bee. Now, the bee might die in the process. Sometimes the bee can last you quite a few traits. Sometimes it'll die every time. But it's uh, There's a percentage chance that the bee will survive. There you go, it survived that go. And we've got the cultivated species. Excellent. So what what we've got there is we've got now a species serum that if we fill this up, see it's empty, it's got average quality, we need to fill it up and we need to make its quality good. Then we can use that to put in another machine called a... Uh, I never remember the name of the bloody machines. Another machine called a inoculator, and that can add that trait to another bee. So we could get any kind of bee. We could make it. We could get a, a meadows bee, and using this serum, once it's up right in that inoculator, we can make any bee into a cultivated. That's a good one to keep. I'll keep that one. Um, normal fertility, uh, cultivated. So we've got a, a, we've got a second cultivated, still on the same bee, which is good. What we need to do is start storing these somewhere. So I'm gonna for now I'm just gonna grab a little dirty chest. I think I've got a big chest somewhere. Yeah, you have there look. Awesome. What I'm gonna do is just for now, just until we get sorted, I'm gonna put that up there. Cultivated species, I'm gonna keep that. But we've got another cultivated species, don't want that. Normal fertility, don't want that. Slow production, we don't want that. What can we do with these things? Well, Get a powered furnace, or get any kind of furnace, or anything that'll act as a furnace. And these spare ones, you can throw in there, and they give us empty serum valves back. So you can recycle all the ones that you don't want, all the ones that you get spares of. Which is pretty cool. Of course they won't stack. So, there we go, we've lost our bee now. Our bee's died. And I pulled that last one out of there, I didn't notice. And I put another bee in there, but... I don't know, the problem is though... We want the fast trait, but these haven't got the fast trait. So, I need to make these into actual pure cultivated. Now, this is a pure cultivated, but I need it I need it to have a, these stats cultivated. So, we're going to make our next machines, which are going to take this serum, make it usable. So, our next machines, let's have a look. Press U, again. And the two machines that sort this out are... The synthesizer that adds charges to it, so we're gonna make that one first. So glass. Blah, 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 blah. Glass. That was like that. And two of them. Synthesizer, there we go. And I'm just gonna break this for a second. And I'm gonna go put this down here. So I'm gonna put these here for now. So there's our gene pool. Powered up now. Here's our synthesizer. That goes there. So if I put our cultivated species serum in there, it should start filling up. But it's not going to because look, not enough liquid DNA. This needs liquid DNA. That's what the gene pool's for. So now we need to start putting bees in here. Now these uh, these have been bee allowed, so these will give us a bit more DNA than they would have otherwise. What we've got here, uh, five percent full. So that bee that bee's gone. This is killing the bees. It's processing them down into liquid DNA and as you can see each one of them is getting us 5% of this bar here because they're, because they're um, they've been BLRs, if they haven't been BLRs I think they're going to get 2% possibly, I'd have to check but what we need to do now is we need to get that into there so we need some liquid ducts let's grab a bit of liquid duct out of here and we're probably going to need a lever out of my tool bag what I can do is, some people get, and I've done it before, get a big tank of liquid ducts. Uh, I don't bother with that anymore. I don't see the need of a big tank, uh, sorry, a big tank of DNA. I don't see the need of a big tank of DNA, I just make DNA as I need it. So yeah, we're going to need it. We're going to need a lever on there. 
to make that work. Um, I'm actually going to do it underneath, I think. Let's do it underneath. Can I break that from here? No, let's break this one as well. So let's break that one. And that one. And one, two, three. We're going to need three in total. Wrench that so it's got the arrow on it. And then get a lever. On my back there. Like uh, so. And we can just stick that lever onto there. That should be fine, I think. There we go. Liquid DNA into the pipe. Let's jump back up there then. Liquid DNA into the pipe. Excellent. So that's putting DNA into here. And now you can see this is the progress bar of this thing. This is starting to, the synthesizer is starting to fill this up with charges. So it's empty at the minute. And at some point we're going to get up to... There's one charge. It's going to get 16 charges. It's going to go into that. So you've seen in quite a few bees. That's got 16% full. Quite a few bees to get that. Our next machine. Once this is up to 16 charges, we need to purify it. So the next machine is, funnily enough, called a purifier. Purify it. That one uses gas tears. So I have to go into the nether, kill a couple of ghasts. Get some tears, which I did yesterday off camera. And was it four of them? What's four of them? Purify it. That can go next to there. We're pretty much now if something I didn't show you, look at this power that this uses. That uses fifty MJ as well. This one uses hundred MJ. Pretty powerful stuff. I should have actually uh, looked how much that was getting pulled from it when I um, should have seen how much these were getting pulled. Looks like there was pulling everything by the look of it to fill these back up as it uh, took 300 MJ a tick into it. And you can see these can actually take 2000 MJ a tick to actually fill them back up. Um, they use 100 MJ a tick. The way our pipes are set up, it should keep feeding it 100 MJ a tick, I think. But that, that's all the machines that use liquid DNA. So that there is a fully, fully set up DNA system. The gene pool to make the DNA and the two machines that use it. The synthesizer and the purifier. You see that's gone from average down to pure. As you put in more charges in it, lowers the quality. If we charge this up and then used it on a bee, then the bee would only last one, one life cycle and die. Um, you want, you've got to get these to excellent quality as well. So it's the process is quite slow and it's pretty manual because pumping things in and out of these is not at all easy. Or I don't know if it's even doable. I've, uh, I think I've tried doing it before. I don't remember. But it's all a little bit manual. It takes a bit of time. Especially this is quite slow. You can't speed it up. And uh, you've got to wait for DNA to come into it. You're not going to get a great deal of uh, stuff from this. So, But what we're going to end up with here is... 16 charges of excellent quality cultivated species which we can then use to change a cultivated bee into the pure breed one and then we can start oops then we can start getting this trait out this fastest trait fast should I say fastest is from farming bees we'll get to that much later but um, we're going to get this fast trait out then we can add fast trait to a different kind of bee and the way I do that is once we've got the cultivated I'm going to use I'll use one of these things here rocky bee now I get a rocky princess and a rocky drone. This is just a drone, of course. But what I do is, if you look at the stats on this, I give it the cultivated species. Then I give it the fast lifespan. So we want, we want to get the fast lifespan um, trait. And this will be a cultivated with fast, and it'll retain all these secondary stats of the rocky. That's why I, I use rocky bees as all my base bees because they'd keep all these. So we've got good. T temperature and humidity tolerance and it works at night works in the rain that's what fly means and it works indoors so using save all your rocky drones and your rocky princesses to actually use later on with serums to make into your actual production bees because they're very good i'll just leave it in there for now right next machine so we've got a, once we've got a purified serum we need the thing the serum can get used to put into a bee which is going to be Inoculator, there we go. Magma creams. This actually needs serum valves as well. So we need two serum valves. And uh, 
Looks like I forgot to make magma creams. Okay, let's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and I uh, should have. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five. Easy enough. Blaze powder, slam balls, gets you magma creams. There we go. Inoculator. So once we've got our serums, I'm going to put that there for now. Power that up. This one uses 25 MGA tick. Once we've got a serum, it's not going to let us put it on there because it's uh, empty. But once you've got a serum, you put a serum in there, you put your target bee in there, this injects it. It takes several goes, so you can use. It's um, There's a bit of luck involved, there's a bit of a dice roll. You could. You could get it in just a couple of run, a couple of runs through there, but it might take quite a few charge out your serum. Mm -hmm. But basically, what that's going to do is let's grab some more bees. That's why I've been built, saving all these bees up as well. Um, I'm going to start using most of these to turn into DNA. Um, let's facts. Well, we've got let's take a full stack. Let's if you do your bealizing, you can do actually a stack at a time. So it only uses one honey, and all 49 of them are bealized now. It's pretty cool. So if you're doing it manually, make sure you actually do it in big stacks. I'll do them industrious as well. There we go. So it only took one honey drop. And all 64 of them are now bealized. I'm only taking half of these at the minute. Just um, I'll probably end up using most of these bees for DNA, but uh, at the minute I'm just doing a little bit at a time. This is going to need more. So let's stick all them in there. They'll get processed. That's up to 14, it's getting there. And we don't need probably more DNA in there to get there. But um, what happens is, let's get a target B. Let's, uh, let's use this guy for now. So, you know, inoculator, B goes there, it falls into that bit. I don't think you can, you can actually put them into that bit, you have to put them in the top. And what will happen is, each pass there, so each time this thing gets used up, it'll take one charge out of your serum and this bee will have a chance of its species turning to cultivated. So, But it needs to have both the active and the inactive turn to cultivated. So that's why it takes several goes. So it can, each one's a chance, so each pass through may change this into cultivated and then so the second, first, second might not, the third one might do it, then the fourth might not, fifth might not, then the sixth might do that. So it might take six runs to get both. You might only take two or it might take ten. So it's a bit of chance, but what you want to do is you need to get both the active and the inactive to the target tree. Otherwise, if you started breeding that bee with only one of the things there changed, then you're not guaranteed to get the result you want. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get a Rocky Princess as well. Now the only the thing with Rockies is Rockies have um, bad fertility. So it's usually these as breeding bees. They've only got one fertility look. Usually the breeding bees isn't that great. But uh, using them as production bees, really good. So I'm going to put that in there, ready before we get our serum. I'm going to cut the camera and I'll be back once that serum's fully ready to go. So I'm going to go to 16 charges. Oh, there we go. And now when it's full, you see it's got that's gone red. Serum already full. So it's letting me know that it's full, which is good. I'll put that in there now. You see, that'll start going. And that'll take several runs as well and we'll get to the point where that's excellent quality and I'll come back when that's done. Back in a bit. Okay so back we are and here we go. Serum already highest quality. There we go we've got cultivated species serum 16 charges excellent quality. Really nice and what we need to do now is put that into there. What that's going to do is going to start changing these two from the have rockies princess and drone into cultivated species. Now we're going to use these to get more drones but we've got only, as I said, it's only got the lowest lifespan so we'll only ever get one drone from that so we need to look at a way to up our drones. And the way we do that is we need to do look for a specific bee, a wintry bee. Um, I should have brought some enderpearls with me. I want to show you something else as well. While I was doing this, let me just grab some enderpearls. Uh, eight enderpearls. Good, good. Right, so I need to go to a wintry biome. And I need an apiary. Okay. And I should have 
sort this out off camera. I'll be back in a sec. So I'm in an apiary, there it is, and we'll need that over here in a snowy biome. So we're in an ice plains here, and I've been looking for one of these things. A wintry beehive, so I'm going to use my scoop on that. We've got a wintry drone, wintry princess. Now the important things with winteries is, if we get our bealizer, and have a look at this guy, look at that, fertility. Four, four times so every time this bee cycles it's going to create one drone to go back in to create another princess uh, another queen and it's going to have three spare drones so these are the ones you want for producing extra bees for your um, serum grabbing properties and for your uh, making extra bees for your DNA so I'm going to set up a little thing here in this snowy biome now I'm going to make it somewhere near the edge I so don't need to be too far away I'm like 200 meters from my house there as you can see and um, down here will do fan so what I need to do is I just need, I want to I want to run this a couple of cycles I want to make it so that I've got eight or nine of these bees just so I can guarantee to get that fertility serum out of them now I'm just doing my usual little bee setup here with a wooden pipe we can put them in there get them on the on the go I should have brought some frames as well which uh, I forgot and I if I had some chocolate frames, that would have made them quicker. I need to really get a sauce of cocoa beans on the go. Um, come on, missing, missing Queen or Princess. Energy full set. And then gold pipe. The Apiarist pipe. A chest. So we'll be back in a little while once this has run a few times. Uh, I'm going to go and get some off camera. I'll go get some frames. Just speed up a little. And. What do you want in there? Yellow back into the hive, blue into the chest. So yellow, any bees, oops, and blue, anything. There we go. So then we've got a little automated system. And we need to chunk load this just to keep, make sure it keeps going. And that was the other thing I wanted to show you. I made a chunk loader here. Now what you can do with a chunk loader is if you surround a chunk loader with enderpels, you make these things spot loaders. And what a spot loader does is that'll load just a single chunk. So let's see if I've messed this up by put it right in a chunk boundary, hopefully I haven't. No, I haven't good. So we're right in the middle of a chunk here. So if you use one of these little spot loaders, that spot loader will just keep this single chunk loaded. Nice, and you get 10 of them. So anytime you need to get a, just keep a single chunk loaded, spot loader is quite useful. Uh, it still costs you a full chunk loader to do it, so I could just use a chunk loader here. But as I only need this to keep this one chunk loaded, I thought I'd show you that little recipe as well while I was doing it. But now I've got a little air period there. On the go, it's got no flowers near it. Let's uh, bring a flower. That's uh, sh should have been close enough. What's going on there? No flowers. These have normal flowers, so that should work. Let's just see if that cycle. So it's got not normally it's got to wait until its next tick. And if you remember, bees tick every 27 seconds. There you go, working out. So then that flower won't close enough, even though it was just there. That's odd. Um, that's working away. Say so chocolate frames would speed this up a, a hell of a lot, but uh, I've not got no sauce of cocoa yet. Cocoa you get from, let's turn this off and put my helmet back on. Cocoa, you get, we can leave that. Cocoa you get from jungle trees. But this is a mini jungle. It doesn't have any jungle trees by the look of it. They're all oak trees. So uh, I ain't got any of that. The other way of getting it is using valiant bees, which I ain't got any of yet. Valiant bees come from um, there's, there's two types of bees. Valiant bees come from hives, like what we just got them wintery from. But there's a real small chance instead of spawning a normal bee, it'll spawn a valiant bee. The world's loading really badly. Look at this, what a mess. Um, the real small chance that it'll load, a, it'll give you a valiant bee instead. And steadfast bees, they're another one. Steadfast bees you get from dungeon chests. And they also produce cocoa. So at some point, I'd like to get a Valiant Bee. Or a Steadfast Bee. Or one of each. Or two of each. To get some cocoa on the go. And then I can make some cocoa frames at a decent rate. How about that, I'll go looking for... Go looking for um, an actual jungle biome. And get some get a jungle tree. Just so I can start growing some cocoa near my house. Just having a quick check around for hives while I'm talking... While I'm nattering away, um, what I should have actually done as well is 
this tree I cut down, I should have checked for saplings, but I think they'll all despawn now. If uh, no, no, there's all the most of the leaves are still there. But just I think the leaves are still there because they've connected to the tree. Uh, I'm just checking for silverwood saplings. But now nah, I'll get some of them when I, when I actually need some. Right, so what we're we going with then? Let's go check our. Uh, let's just fly over a bit quicker. Let's go see what's happened to our bee in here then. This should have had plenty of time to work away. And there you go, we've now got. Oops, that was still working away. Put that in there. And that actually understand change the stats. Damn it, I thought they changed the stats to make it into a pure. Well, how the hell have I done that before then? That's literally just, it's just changed the species. And, uh, of course, I haven't changed the stats. What am I on about? So I still haven't got fast speed. I need to make cultivated. I need to get cultivated with fast speed. I need to do that manually. Then I think uh, I better mess of that. I I thought I was going to change that. It doesn't change that at all. It changes um, what biomes I need. But these things are keyed into whatever the species is. Um, right, I still need to get that fast trait. Well, that's, that ain't done me that, that much good at all, really. That's uh, All I've done is create the same bees that I already had, but now at least they're going to work at night and when it rains. So they are better, but um, they haven't got that fast trait that I wanted. So I'm going to have to create some fresh cultivated bees to get that fast trait. Of course I am. Okay, um, as always, actually, I, I knew that, I just forgot it. Um, I should have. I should have been on that a bit better. Um, I need to create some fresh cultivated drones to try and get that fast trait onto them, which is a standard trait that cultivated drones have. And how do I do that then? It's yeah, it's, it's breeding them right. I know. Yeah. Okay. We'll wait until we get our breeding alveoli and actually breed them correctly using uranium. We'll get a definite. With a definite pure breed then. This is still good though. This, uh, this isn't anything bad because there we go. That's dropped into the bottom, so that one's good now as well. So what we can do here, this isn't going to produce any extra um, than these. But what it is going to do is it's going to work at night and it's going to work in the rain. It needs to be near rock, so anything like that will work for rock, so that, that's fine. So these guys can all be broken down into DNA and at some point we need to sort out getting the pure the, the pure cultivated the actual from the hive stats if you will which we will get by making sure that we get a pure mutation by guaranteeing a mutation and um, that's a little bit complicated I probably made that more complicated than it needs to be so ignore that for now me me saying about um Getting that fast trait, that, that wasn't going to work, that was never going to work. I, uh, I confused myself there a bit. So, what I'm going to do here is, see that two, so I was getting one extra drone each time. Um, I'm just going to realize them. I'm going to just gonna process all these. And we've got plenty of cultivated stuff left just to work with for now. Yeah, we've got 23 in there. What I'm going to have to do is, when I've got my alvary up and ready with some mutators and stuff in, which I haven't covered yet, but I will do, we'll create, we'll put a cultivated and a common in, and that'll get us an actual cultivated with, that'll get us a cultivated with these stats. Um, that'll get us a cultivated with them stats using these mutators. We'll guarantee us to get that fast trade then. So, uh, yeah, for now, um, I think that's most things covered. There's one machine I've not made yet, so let's make that. Let's make that. Um, I'm going to process that honeycomb. One machine I've not made. So we've got one of these left. And it's looking like it's some of them. And is it them? No, I don't think it's that. No, let's have a look. The one I haven't made is a replicator. Oh, it's four of them. Okay. No, the replicator does. The replicator is not really needed, but I'll make one anyway. Replicator, I can just throw over here for now. What we can do with that is, if it had power, 
Uh, once you've got a serum that you like, like this guy, once you've got a serum that you actually want to keep, then I could put that in there. And I could put a blank one in there and I could get another one. I could copy that serum. So if you're playing on a server and you want to give, um, if say if you've got a nice, say if you've got a platinum B, valuable B serum, or um, fastest trait or whatever, you can copy them in a replicator so you, you can give one to your friends. Pretty useful. But uh, playing single player, not as needed. Um, you can double up on some of the better thing is to speed things up, have more purifiers, have more synthesizers, but not really needed from single player. But I thought true anyway. Right, I think I'm going to call it there. Well, I'm, I'm going to cut anyway and check the length of the episode. Back in a sec. Okay, I'm back for a little while. The episode's up to 36 or so minutes. Uh, off camera, I've done a couple of things. I got some wintry drones from over there and I run it a couple of times and I've got about 10 drones. And I brought five across here. Run five through the isolator. Managed to get the max facility serum. It, it took, it destroyed four of them. I've got one left there. Um, I've still got some more over there, but I can take that down now. Now I've got, um, I've got the wintry species serum. I kept that one as well. I've got my cultivated there. I made a couple of imperials using it. I've got flowers I've kept as well. Um, if you look downstairs. I've got a Imperial Species Serum that I've used to make a couple of rockies into Imperials. I've got an Industrious that I've not used yet. So I'm just, uh, I tend to keep one of each species, especially species that I know I'm going to use again for breeding. Some species use these as starting points for breeding. So um, I like to keep at least one of each of uh, most species that I get. It's probably, it's probably good practice to keep one of each of all species you get really. But um it's not a big deal, it's not a massive big deal. Um, I'm getting, I'm empty on there. Okay, I've got 100% full in there. So, start, we're going to need some more bees pretty soon. Unfortunately, the, the rocky bees have got slowest production. Um, so, until I get that fast trait, my, it's going to actually slow my production down a bit. So, I've got Imperial Species and Industrious. And in here at the minute, I've got my max facility. And the cultivated princess and drone, I'll just let that die off so it's just princess and drone again. If you do it while it's a queen, you're not guaranteed to get the result you want once the queen dies. So always do a princess and a drone. Never just put a queen in there. Change the trait on the queen. Because when the queen dies, you're going to get whatever the drone that went into it mixing its traits. So make sure you use make sure you don't use a queen in there. Always do one separate. So I'm giving these max fertility. So this will be, unfortunately, a slow production, but max fertility. So at least I'll be getting... Um, Plenty of drones off this cultivated species, off this cultivated pair, just to make my DNA with. Now all the rest of my drones can be low fertility now, like, uh, like that guy. He's got low fertility, but see so the stats are worth having on all the other stuff. So until I get these, are, because the rocky bees, rocky have got slowest. So until I get the speed up, then um, it's not going to be great. But so what I need to do is get my alvary made get a fresh cultivated pair with that fast trait, get that fast trait pulled off them and then we're, we're good to go with um, with fast bees. Mm. We can start targeting other traits and stuff. So I'll put them in there for now. Cultivated Industrious, Wintry, Imperial. I'll put these in some order at some point and I'll uh, I'll probably I'll make that so it's good quality. And waiting for that. When they're done, I'll put them back in there. So that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, it's going to be bees again. So I'm sorry if you don't like bees. Because um, I should have enough honey to get this guy finished. And that's the wrong thing. I wanted uh, that. I'm getting, slowly getting there with that. I need a bit more. I've got all the other materials here. I just need a bit more honey. So as you can see, it looks like we need... Uh, 36 more panels so I've got some honey getting processed as you can see so just using that as we get it get us that first delivery made then we can start doing some proper breeding and proper proper trait pulling out with serums and stuff so that's going to be it for this episode as always thank you very much for watching I, I hope it's entertaining not too boring I apologise if you don't like bees and I hope you join me next time cheers bye